What's up, everybody? Okay, so we're gonna go over uh, uh, just tips and tricks of how to put this image together. Over here, uh, I have an EXR plugin that I use for Arnold and Maya, and so this EXR plugin completely destroys my layers system in DAS. It renders out black all the time. Uh, and in all honesty, I don't care because, uh, you know, these are due for fun and I do for myself. Uh, and, and Maya and Arnold, I, I need those for uh, bigger projects and stuff. So the way I get around this right now is I just go into my environments. I render out a dome and scene, uh, a dome only and scene only. Okay. I render those three images out and it gives me what I need. It gives me these three uh, renders there, there and there. Uh, and you can see like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bright, dome, and scene. That's scene, dome, and dome and scene. So it gives me these variants. And with these three, what I usually do is I just take like an eraser and I start, uh, you know, getting getting the things that I want. You know, start erasing and blending in, and you know, getting the kind of whatever they want. You know, taking away the things that I don't want, even the things that I do want. So with these, I kind of just blend the three renders together to get kind of what I'm looking for um, and with that with that and I put my black I put my my characters down I grade them a little bit so basically that's it once I've got my you know those three renders the way I like them with a little bit of levels and stuff you know I, I add a couple of uh, levels level brightnesses and I just uh, push things down push things up until I get something look if it if it gives me too much color I go into image adjust and I just go into my hue saturation and I take down my saturation okay and then I can mess with the hue of what colors I kind of looking for uh, everything's always subtle with me you know me by now everything I do is subtle subtle once I've got that you know I check in the background I get my background I blur it and I, I just put it in so it kind of fits but you can see this is more orangey this is more blue um, and then what I do is I take a brush you can see here I put it on like a no I put it on an overlay and I take a brush something like this something like uh, not this one not this one that's a round brush it's a round brush I take something like this and what I do is I get a color that I'm looking for uh, okay obviously this isn't the color <laughs> That ain't the color in the bubble. bubble. <laughs> Take something like that. And I can start kind of shading in color into the character. You see? It gives a little bit of color. A little bit of color. You can see around the eyes and stuff. That's what I've done. That's the normal picture. And then I've just painted in a bit of color into the character. From there, you can do the opacity up or down just to give like a bit of a variation and it look good. Once I do that, I put the dirt in. Okay. Bam. I take a couple of brushes, rounds brushes of like dirt and blood and stuff, and I just put them on. Over here you can see the blood, I've put them on uh, like a multiply, and uh, that's it. I kind of erase what I don't want and keep what I want, you know, like I kind of blend things in a little bit. Bam, bam, bam. You can blend things in a little bit just so it looks good. It looks good. But there we go. See, just breaks it up nicely, doesn't it? And then I put the blurred, this layer, you can see here, all I've done is these little dots here on a new layer on the hand, it just adds a little bit, and on the tooth, just to break up the tooth a little bit so it doesn't have perfect teeth. I forgot to scraggle them a little bit, he, his teeth are too perfect, but it's all good, it's all good. It's just a, it's just a fun image, right? And then I put the gold bin. Now this I use Ron's uh, water, what is it called? Uh, for this I used run slime i use slime for some of the the goo but the hydro explosion runs hydro explosion too and i use a couple of these brushes to get like these cool you know obviously not that big but i put them down you can change the direction and you can just start painting um i'll put on something like white and there we go uh, wait that's an eraser god damn it god damn it i gotta go look for that again Minge. Okay, let's take this one. So, bring it down a little bit, you know, and you can start getting this cool kind of a kind of a look. Aim it a little bit better, something like that, and boom. See that? 
you can start getting these really cool kind of <laughs> that's how I get that okay very easy bronze hydro explosion brushes very beautiful same thing here like I just added a bit more I added like another layer and I erased and I just made it a bit more brighter same thing and then this over here you see what this does this is pretty damn cool I take like a grunge photo right a grunge photo I take the whole thing I soft light it put onto like 60% or something and then erase you can see I erase if I put this on normal that's all it is it's a grunge photo BAM and I erase the parts that I don't want and this kind of stuff just just by putting it on boom boom soft light 64 look what it does it gives me all of this cool dirt everywhere it completely takes a clean picture and makes it a bit gritty and dirty and this is awesome and this is a massive massive thing in an image man look at that look at the difference look at the background look at the background look at the little boom see that and that trick that trick alone will start enhancing your images massively it just looks good um what i did after that is i took oh yeah i made a bit of spit for the monster but uh, i forgot to put it on okay i did a couple of uh this over here you see i just lightened the entire image i just kind of put a glow on it with a little bit of a lens flare uh so it just gives it what this does is it puts the entire image nicely composited now you got blue with blue before that you had like this orange with this blue it still kind of fits but you know the two layers look like they're out of sync they're not properly in with each other so just adding like a blue grade over the whole image just kind of it puts everything together it binds things it composites things together so it looks like it's one image see the difference boom and boom just puts everything you know into a nice image and this is kind of like a grade over it. it's kind of like this here you see this grade over here if I put it on uh, let's take this one off and let's put this one up but you see what it does it's a grade on hard light and it goes from white to blue and look it just binds the image together see that no yes binds and then you can mess around with the opacity and just get what you're looking for but you can see right away how it binds the image together, right? Beautiful. Grades are another massive one. Put a grade over your entire image after you're done, and it just binds everything together nicely, okay? Um, and then, obviously, the vignette, I put a hard one around the very edge. I paint it in. And then I put another one, which is more like this one is on 100, and this one is on 59. It's just grading it out a little bit, so it just kind of frames what you want to look at yeah it frames right on what you want to look at okay and this just pops your image it pops the subjects out like this is what I want to see this dude creatures in the background I mean he's easily you can see that it's easily a creature but he's not the main focus the main focus is this this area here this dude grabbing onto the hand trying to pull it away and you know this thing's just ripping him apart like grabbing onto him and pulling his lip by the way i'll make another video of all the zbrush i did on this you know like the lip getting pulled the nose getting squashed or you know the skin over here getting squashed and stuff all of this is zbrush uh but i've got all of that i'll put it together like the the daz uh, the, the whole zbrush work around with daz but this is just a Photoshop file. Um, once again, the vignette always puts something nice and uh, obviously your signature. Boom, baby, splatter baby. So that's it. I mean, I, you know, this is just to give you like tips and tricks. The vignette, you know, just pops out what you want. If I don't have that, the image becomes too loud. I mean, it still looks all right, but you know look at this now I'm focused I'm focused on what I want to look at uh, the grade a massive one BAM without the grade kind of looks like the background doesn't belong right it doesn't belong and you know all these colors but you put that grade on and all of a sudden everything fits together it fits together as a single image which is awesome BAM BAM so the grade a massive one 
a huge one. The vignette focuses everything. All good. Grunge. Get yourself a good grunge map and bam! All of a sudden you got this slight variation, slight dirt. It's awesome and cool. And then just your few little things, little blood marks, little dirt marks, you know, all there, gob. All just put your image together. Anyway, I hope these tips and tricks help. Uh, I'll make another making of this escape. Um, and hopefully you get something out of this. If it's something, just the grades, the vignettes, and some grunge maps. And this can change your game completely when you're making images. Anyway, people, I hope this helped. I uh, hope you have a good Easter and a good time. And I'll speak to you guys later. Bye, guys.